Hey, what's up, guys? How are you? Welcome back. It's me, your host, Hebot, with another exciting episode of Toys in My Closet. And as you can see today, right in front of me, I'm going to do the continuing run of the Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs Battle Bone playset. Now, like I've told you guys before, these are built to play. There's no gluing required, no painting required. This is just straight up made for children to build with the instructions and just have a good time. This is has uh, actually Mattel's version of Lego, and in this case, using the licensing of Masters of the Universe. This here is actually the PowerCon exclusive from two years ago. I missed out on the pre-order. This was originally a $35 piece, so I had to end up getting it through the secondary market, and I paid, I think it was $65. I paid double. Um, and that's as much as I would go as far as paying for something in the aftermarket. No more than double the price. Uh, because I think in that case, it's kind of fair because it's exclusive and it was limited run. And, you know, right now, this piece, I think, to try to get your hands on it, is going for like $170 to $200. I, I don't know why, but it is. Um, now, as you'll see in the packaging, continuing in the same aesthetic and motif, as all the other ones, you have here on the top the figures that come with it in a nice promotional shot. Masters of the Universe, Mega Construct. This box has not held up well because I didn't have a safe place to put it, so with all the moving around back and forth, it got dinged up, it's messed up, so I figured, you know, I just, what the heck, let me open it, build it, and you know, let's have some fun. Um, it did include an air freshener of Mossman, which I guess is inside. And then the biggest difference is these figures are already built. You do not have to build this. I have another Faker, another Tila, another Man at Arms. And this Mossman, the difference being this Mossman is actually flat. If you can see there, in his packaging form, you can see that he is actually flocked, which is kind of cool because he's so small. Then you see the battle balls there, where you can store the weapons in the mouth like the original toy, and then you can house the figures on the side. So there you go. This is a 435 piece. It's considered a pro set. A picture of the length of the battle balls, which I believe is the length that it is from side to side based off when it's actually built, which is 16 inches. And then on the side, we have a picture of Mossman there without being flocked with the Masters of the Universe logo because he was the exclusive figure that came with it. And then on this side, a, as you see there, Faker that you actually can put electronic parts, yes, electronic parts in like he's been in battle with and destroyed. So that's really cool. And then these are all the weapons that it comes with here. And uh, you know, the promotion on the back of it build like a schematic in schematic form. And then the figures there tell me their names. And then it says battle bones right there with the crest of the door. That's a race car. As you see there, it's just my truck and and so forth and so forth. And that's it. Um, the bottom is just pretty much plain. So, <clears throat> what we'll do is I'll take out all the packaging inserts and stuff that it has to show you what it actually comes with, and we'll start building from there. And as I'm building, we'll cut to whatever uh, where I'm at to this point. Or in a certain, uh, you know, to a certain degree of how long it takes me to build it. So sit back, relax, have a digital drink, and enjoy the ride. I hope you stay tuned and stay here with me. So 
So here we have it guys, out of the packaging we basically have the instruction manual that comes with it, this one like a long one, it's elongated, and it has like a nice little, you know, tab, open it up, and then, you know, pretty self-explanatory, the actual pictures, which is cool, it's always nice touch, especially for the kids, if they're the ones building it, right? Then we have one, two, and three. Really big one with all the pieces packaging. And then the plastic insert that comes with the four figures and hand. They look really great and nicely painted. So, what we'll do is we'll start building and I'll cut and pause and show you guys how far I've come along uh, as I built the process. So I'll probably do it maybe in two cuts where I'll do it halfway or maybe I'll just do it in three cuts. I don't know. <clears throat> it depends how long the build is and how far along it comes so that you guys can see until I get to the entire piece uh, fully built and then we'll review it and take a look at it from there so I'll see you guys very soon hey guys and I'm back like I said this is gonna be a little bit of a longer build as you see, you know, I have the bottom half of, I think, is the mouth and some of the spine and the tail area. And so far, that's all I really have been able to to build. Um, you can see it has that ivory white kind of look. Um, and, see, it's ivory white. So, yeah, so far so good. This looks to be the two part where it goes in the middle and the little handles and you can carry it because in the original toy it acted as two things. It acted as a toy, uh, like a vehicle, right, or an animal that was actually, you know, in, in, bone, in bone form and like a dinosaur rod, obviously in bone form that has life and carries them around. And it also acted as a carry case. So, yeah, so far so good. So, stay tuned, keep your eyes peeled, and we should be back very soon for you guys and for me. God only knows how long, but I have to finish the build. And just to give you guys an idea of how many pieces still are available, here you go. <laughs> there is the pieces left to form and build the battle bones. Alright guys, uh, see you soon. What's up guys? Welcome back and as you see I finally have the battle bones mega construct power con playset actually finished and built and you know uh, there is a little bit different feel to this piece because it's not a colorful type of piece, you know, a piece uh, than the Masters of the Universe realm, so it feels kind of boring in a sense, but still very cool. So it came with these exclusive figures, and this was actually the first iteration of Mossman, and he actually is flocked, as you can see, and these are his weapons that he comes with. Um, you can see the little beady eyes, really nicely done. He's not flocked down here though, in the bottom part of the feet. It's over here in the shoulders, uh, you know, the chest, the face, and on the thigh area. But yeah, he, yes, he is the flocked version. Then we have, to me, the actual real and complete Tila, also with a nice face called um, 
with the actual colors from the vintage toy in comparison to the other one I had, it was a little darker, and we bought separate, and she comes with the hairdress, you know, the staff, which actually looks kind of long compared to all the other ones, and her classic shield with the details and everything in that shield, as you can see, right there, you see, um, and next we have the uh, Man at Arms, which I think this is the actual vintage toy also, because it was the lighter green, or more neon green, and as you can see with the face, he has no mustache. So technically, which, and he brings obviously the mace in the back where you can put it there and then the gun there. Technically what you can do is you can either use him as also the lighter, you know, headpiece or helmet. Either use him as a guard, right? One of the Eternian Palace guards, or as the vintage figure toy man at arms. Looks really cool. Uh, and then last but certainly not least, we have the faker, which was, which is more of a neon colored one. Uh, but this one, what's unique about it is he has the metal of robotic pieces showing it's like battle damage figure you see that he has the arm there showing the robotic piece you can see the, the chest symbol piece uh, showing the computers in his chest the arm and the leg all made out of robotic thing and then he has the hot pink you know armor instead of the orange and that but he does have the orange hair so um, not my favorite in from the set, but cool enough. You know, he brings a little knife to the whole house in the back. Uh, you know, and then he has the navy blue boots. So there is the last figure in the set, Faker Battle Damage Faker, I guess I would say. And then of course we have none other than the Battle Bones itself. And you can see it's in parts here where you have to lift and this here acts as this here this piece here acts as the handle to carry it around like the original and this is the back piece right these are the legs and the toes uh, the tail and it's all movable and all you know and then there are the pegs to peg the figures in the right on it and then obviously the head scope which looks really awesome all the teeth and stuff really majestic and you and as the first one or the original toy all the extra weapons you place them in the front mouth and it acts as a holder because this is, was originally intended as a carrying case and you know it moves and has movement which the original didn't which is really cool and some of the weapons it brings you know uh, I'll show you here these are the weapons from like Castle Grayskull here's the axe here's the here's the spear from Castle Grayskull uh, you know what? Let me just dump it down here. It should be much easier. There we go. Let's put it here like so. And you see how long it is. It's really, really long from tail. It's one tail end to the other. Um, he also brings the Castle Grace Call uh, Blaster. As you see, in gold, that was also used for a web store, and I believe for many faces, and I also believe it came with Whiplash, one of them. Uh, then he has a gold version of the Power Sword, which is really cool, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, a small hatchet from... 
the weapons rack on Grayskull. And then we have the other small axe, uh, which are different. The actual, you know, knife and that pearlescent gold. And they are different. You can see the design, they are different. They're, these are all from the weapons rack. Then it brings uh, Zodax Blaster, another one from the weapons rack right here, a blue shield, which is really cool, a blue shield. So plenty of the little weapons are, are there. And then he has a blue He-Man Axe. And the blue power sword. And then the two last here are guns. Blasters, like the ones in the actual Castle Grayskull. Well, he has one in red. A little hole there, as you can see. And one in black. And a little peg hole. Which what you do is you put it here and back up man at arms. Just go like this. You put it right there like so. You peg it on. Which is a well you take this out, you peg this one here, and you take this one and you peg it right in here. As you can see right there. Oh man, I'm trying to do it but it can't. Hold on. Uh, there it is. Mm. Just peg it on like so. He has the gun and the mace. That's how it's supposed to actually work. So, yeah, as far as the bottom moves, like I said, again, the mouth opens. You know, um, it's fully articulated. You know, the, it goes and it bends and you can put it in different positions with the feet and everything like that uh, so it's it's a fun piece um, very long in scale um, I don't know if it's going to be easy to, to make room for it because you know obviously um, it's a very long piece so you know um but it's it's very cool you know so that's basically uh the battle wounds right there in itself so i guess what i can do is just bring maybe some pieces for reference over so that you guys can see how it scales next to some of the other uh vehicles and pieces alongside it so give me one sec so guys to give you guys an idea here i have you know some of the teasers that i told you where this is the newer one that came with the battle bones this is the standalone that came um with one of the waves and then this was the first standalone i believe based on 2000x came along too and as you can see she has like you know, different boots and she doesn't have none of the dressing it's just her and you know the actual you know, regular you know the regular suit that she had um, in 2000 so we'll be right along and here we have the man of arms that came so that will stand on Then we have the one that came in the battle bones. You can see right there. And then this was one that came um, with, uh, I believe it was Castle Grace. It has the, you know, the gray, uh, you know, uh, the gray belt, and as you see, 
his arm is a whole has a whole piece in the glove. He's more like a guard, like a like a guard for you know Eternian guard, as opposed to just being man at arms. And here we have comparisons of the fakers that I have. As you see, this is the faker with battle armor, which was. The newest one uh, came separate with away with the battle armor, which was introduced in Masters of Universe Classics. The one that comes standalone. As you can see, with that nice soft blue, the vibrant orange, and then you can see the difference. In the new one that came with battle bones here, with the uh, offset of that, just like a hot pink on his actual armor, as opposed to orange like these. And we here we have the two beast bands that I have. This was the standalone one that was sold by itself. This was the non flock beast man. As you can see, he came with this mace ball weapon which is not the original weapon of beast man to be honest uh, it was obviously the one like this with let me and i think even his head is different uh, it was the one that came with this mace this one here this is the one that he came with in the actual toy so now let's do some comparisons with the battle bones itself here you go, for a comparison, here he is next to the Chet Sled and the Cliff Climber. And here we have him next to Pantho with Skeletor, which he is actually flunked. And then uh, uh, the Mechanic with Battle Ram. And you know that this is a vehicle for you, so you kind of get an idea how big it really is in comparison uh, which I think scale wise with this size is actually pretty accurate but you know it is what it is so guys there you have it the mega construct masters of the universe PowerCon exclusive battle bone pro builder set from Hasbro right or actually from Mattel excuse me in all of his glory, there you have it. Even I have it showing there, carrying the figures it came with, doing what it's supposed to do, being a glorious carrying case. And you see how big it is from one corner to the other. Um, it's a really nice piece. You see the weapons in the front. It's articulated in comparison to the original vintage that was one static plastic piece and only the actual mouth opened and I believe was the legs moved forward and back and that was it um, I think it serves its purpose um, it's a really cool piece the problem with this set is that unfortunately it was a PowerCon exclusive so I don't know why would they think that something like this that was part of the vintage collection uh, people wouldn't really care about um, so the fact that it is a PowerCon exclusive is extremely hard and rare to get now. So, because there wasn't a lot made. So now if you go to the aftermarket to get these, they're running anywhere from a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars. In some cases, I've seen it as high as two hundred to be honest with you. And this was a thirty dollar set that you were able to order online during the Paracon pre-orders. So that's the biggest issue, you know, so for people that have come in late to the Mega Construct line that, you know, like these Master of the Universe theme pieces, uh, good luck to you is all I can say because um, you're not going to want to spend that kind of money for a piece like this. Unless you're so hardcore and you have the money to spare and you just don't care and you'll do it, that's different. But, 
Realistically speaking, most people will not shell out that type of money for a $30 piece. And I don't blame them. I was just lucky enough to get it from someone at the time that sold it to me for about 60 bucks with the tax and with the shipping. So I went hunting for it immediately because I missed out on the pre-orders because they sold out really, really fast. So guys, there you have it. There's my unboxing and my review and my thoughts on this Masters of the Universe Mega Construct piece. Um, I recommend it, but because it's an exclusive Powercom piece, it's probably going to be a hard sell because you can got you got to search for it through the third party um, itself, and to be honest, it's going to be too expensive. I give it an A, though. It's a really nice piece. Uh, definitely worth adding to your collection if it was more accessible, as far as I'm concerned. If it's since it's not, I can't recommend it. But if you can get your hands on it for a decent price or a good trade, I say go for it. Guys, I'll see you in the next episode of Toys in My Closet. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please leave a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Share the video with someone you think might like it. And for those who always continue to come by and show me support and love all this time, um, thank you because... Without you guys, the fan, the channel cannot be sustained and cannot grow and contain uh, and me be able to contain it and maintain it. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. For, thank you for stopping by. Um, if you subscribe, um, thank you so much because I know you didn't have to. But if you did, just remember I consider you now part of my family. And as always, guys, if you want to find me on social media and any of those platforms, you can find me on Instagram under C underscore respect and on Twitter under Heba Powerful Gamer. If you guys ever would like to donate anything from the kindness of your heart that you would like me to showcase on my channel or that you would like for me to highlight, um, it would be my absolute pleasure and honor to do so. Just shoot me a DM in those social media platforms. And we'll work out the particulars. Or, like always, if you guys would like to help me out in any way, shape, or form, with the kindness of your heart, uh, because you want to help me grow or help me make better content and continue to grow my channel with better content, you know how to do so. You can do it in... Uh, it's all down in the description below. Below, I have a PayPal and I have a Patreon. So, guys, this is your host, Seabot, signing off. Until the next one. Love you guys very much. Thank you for the continued support. Until the next episode, I'll see you guys really soon. I have a lot coming up your way. Love you, and see you then. Bye-bye.